Um, thank you for being here. I want to hear today about innovation. Um, as you know, this is our second day of hearings with the CEOs of big pharma companies, and we've heard so much important information about the very real costs of research and development, R&D. Mr. Bradway, what was Amgen's total revenue in 2017? Oh, gosh, uh, approximately $22 billion. Okay, so it was $23.7 billion. Um, how about 2018? Uh, I don't have that to hand, but again, it would be 24. That's okay. I have it handy. 22.8 billion. 2019, 23.4 billion. This totals up, because I know it's hard to do math on the fly, to $69.9 billion. Um, Thank you. Mr. Bradway, over those three years that we're talking about, 2017 to 2018, how much of its own revenue did Amgen invest in that really important research and development work? Uh, approximately $10 billion. Okay, um, so R&D, taking you at your word here, was about 10 billion. Great, that's, that's a big number. Um, investing in R&D dwarfs some of your other expenses, is that right? It's one of your largest expenses. That's correct. Um, how much did um, Amgen spend on lobbying over that same three-year period? Oh, I, I don't have the exact number, but it's approximately $10 million a year. That's correct, $32.52 million on lobbying. How much on... Um, how much should Amgen's pay for the salaries of the top five, the top five executives over this two-year period? Oh, uh, goodness, uh, for the, it's about, um, I would guess, um, six and a half million per year, so $13 million would be my guess. 13 million, would you like to revise? Take a look right here, sir. You, you, sorry, you asked salary. I gave you an answer to the question about salary. I, oh, I'm sorry, let me rephrase. How much did Amgen spend on compensation for the top five executives? Thank you, Frank. That's the number you've written on the board. Thank you. Could you say that number, please, for the committee? Yes, 100. You've, I'll assume that your number is correct. It's $124 million. Okay, wonderful. Um, and then my final question is, how much did Amgen spend on stock buybacks in that same two-year two period? Sorry, two-year or three-year period? Right here, three-year period, sorry. Three-year period. Uh, I, I don't know the number off the top of my head, but that includes the period where tax reform was implemented, so I would guess it's on the order of $30 billion. Yeah, right sorry. around this number. Can you say it for the committee? I'm not a witness, sir, so I can't testify as to your, as to your profits. I need you to state the number. The number that you have written is $28.6 billion. Thank you. Um, Amgen, so this, you spent double, more than double, almost triple on stock buybacks over the three years as you did on R&D. Is my math correct? 10 billion is roughly one third of 28.6 billion. Yes, but what you haven't included there is the capital that we allocated to acquire research and development externally, which okay. would be about 19 dollars in that period. Okay. Um, you make an anti-inflammatory drug called Embril, which is used to treat conditions like arthritis. Mr. Bradway, did Amgen do the research that led to the creation of Embril? Um, it, it, no, not, not the original discovery. Well, we've done billions of dollars of work on It's, it's just a yes or no. Did you do the research that led to the creation of Embril? Um, Congressman, I stay, stand by my answer. Um, the, the Enbrel that you use, the patients use today, did we do the research and development work associated with it? Absolutely, quite a bit of it. Did you yourself run or oversee the trials of the drug? Did any executive in Amgen help invent this breakthrough drug? Uh, no, uh, I, I did not. I was not involved in breakthrough development of the drug or the discovery of the drug. It, in fact, Enbrel was invented at an academic medical center and its discovery was funded largely by taxpayers. Amgen later acquired the biotech company who manufactured Enbrel. Amgen did not directly pay for the discovery of Enbrel, correct? No, that's incorrect. Your statement is wrong. Enbrel was discovered by scientists at a biotechnology company called Genentech. Okay. What I'd 
like to do now, Mr. Bradway, is I'd like for you to please explain to the American public why you and four other executives deserve to pay yourselves tens of million dollars each year. I've got an empty whiteboard ready to take down your justifications. Right, I recognize that that's a considerable uh, sum of money. I would, of course, uh, point out that I don't have any direct input uh, to my compensation. That's uh, uh, derived by the board, uh, and it's forward to a vote of the shareholders. Um, uh, we have overwhelmingly supported the compensation package for me and the other reclaiming, named executive officers. We're claiming my time, sir. Um, do you not know why you're getting hundreds of millions of dollars, tens of millions of dollars a year? What is the justification? I'd like to show the American people. Yeah, our, our compensation is consistent with uh, competitive positions at other Mr. companies. Mr. Bradway, like we're claiming my time. The other guy gets paid too much too isn't a justification. I'd like to hear what you do to deserve $124 million in salary, you and your top five executives over a three year period. Well, uh, more than 90%. Gentle ladies, time has expired. The gentleman may respond to her question. More than 90% of my compensation is based on performance measures that include how our shares perform relative to the market. Uh, and our compensation program is aligned with that of our owners, our share owners. Uh, and so a large part of my compensation reflects the fact that we've been creating value for our share owners uh, by advancing innovative medicines like those that we uh, uh, the marketplace today. I wish you would focus on creating value for sick patients, Mr. Bradway, not just your shareholders. I yield back.